you guys know me, you know that I love boosted boards. However, after putting close to three and a half thousand miles on mine, I realized it's time for a change. So there I was, sitting at my desk, editing photos like a boss, when suddenly I got a message. After opening it, I noticed that it was from a company called Geckoderm, reaching out to me with one goal. And this is what they said. Hey Ian, based on your page and the quality of your content, we would like to send you a free product for content creation and for you to add it into a review if you are interested. Hell yeah. So at this point you guys are probably wondering what the heck it is that this company sent me. And so here it is. This is the Gecoderm protective skin for my Boosted Mini X that I have right here. And as you guys can see, I'll show some close-ups. Clearly my board has been through hell and back with all these scratches right here, dings, even all throughout the trucks. So before I go ahead and put this bad boy on my board, I'm gonna tell you guys what else came in the packaging. Gecoderm's applying solution, a slab of plastic to help smooth out those bubbles, and of course, a sticker. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure your board is free of dust and grime, which I already did. I kinda of gave it a little shower, gave it a little bath. So the first piece that I noticed right here is it has this nice simple uh, rectangle to fit under the trucks. However, if you guys can see this, I'm sure, I have the boosted beams. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna remove the truck and the beams to make sure this can go under it before I apply it. So they said use a generous amount of solution, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. We're just gonna peel this off like so. Okay, that took a while, but let's go ahead and do the two sides now. Let's go ahead and put on this last piece and then we'll see how it looks. So for it to properly seal and everything, I recommend you wait 24 hours. So I'm gonna do just that and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Well, 24 hours later, it's finally finished. And let me tell you guys, it looks freaking awesome. Most of all, my favorite part about this is it gives my board an overall glossy look, hiding those blemishes and cuts and scrapes. I put on a total of five pieces, two on the side, the bottom, top, as well as the battery. With it just taking a little under two hours to properly apply it, I can say that this easily will protect my board for years to come. As I stated earlier, I do have the boosted beams. And as you can see, the tail light sticks out a little bit further than the trucks, which caused the protective skin to pop up a little bit. So I hope to see some changes in the future where you add a little bit more room for the boosted beams. Now I don't have any shred lights to test out on my board, but I'm hoping that the shred lights will work as well. After talking to the Gecko Durham CEO for a bit, he told me that they eventually plan to expand in the e-skate industry, hoping to add more protective skins to other electric skateboards, eventually moving into more traditional longboards as well. I am excited for you guys, hopefully in the future, to move into more affordable electric skateboards, such as the Meepo V3, and especially something like the Evolve Bamboo GT, or even the new GTR series. These especially because they're meant for off-road, hence you're gonna have more rocks and debris flying up and hitting your deck. Now with all that out of the way, I think there's only one thing left to do. Let's, uh. Go test it out.
Well, that's it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video, and remember, ride with confidence.